it's equipment review time again. And this week, I've got a lab power supply. It's the BK Precision 1697 switch mode DC laboratory power supply. Now, you may not have heard of BK Precision before, um, but they make a fairly comprehensive range uh, of a whole bunch of gear. Um, not just power supplies, but multimeters, oscilloscopes, and, and electronic loads, and all sorts of stuff. And they're a Canadian company, and um, they make some decent uh, low to mid-range um, test equipment. So let's check this one out. Now, this one is their bottom of the range uh, programmable supply. Um, it's uh, 40 volts, 5 amps, uh, switch mode. It's from, it goes from 1 to 40 volts, um, fully adjustable and fully programmable. You can hook it up to a PC and you can do some quite fancy stuff with it. And it retails for about 330 US dollars, um, which is pretty good value for a, a programmable bench supply. Now, the first thing you notice about this supply is its modern appearance. You know, a large LCD display, entry keypad, and a single large, very nice, uh, jog shuttle dial here. And um, it looks really funky. But I'm, when it comes to power supplies, I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. I like my voltage and current knobs and uh, nice big independent readouts. And of course, the first thing we're going to do is take it apart. Okay, we have the cover off. Now let's uh, take a look inside, shall we? The cover came off fairly easily. And we have um, standard single-sided PCB construction. Um, looks very typical of a, um, of a sort of a good quality uh, switch mode power supply. I can see some uh, temperature sensing down there on the heatsink. Um, that's for over temperature um, over temperature protection and there's a vertical board here I'm not sure what that does but uh, it looks like some uh, probably some of the control circuitry um, and yeah it's not bad construction at all um, the fan is actually uh, actually uh, temperature controlled as well so it will actually um, come on only when it needs to which is really handy and yeah I like it construction is quite nice. Alright, the first thing we're going to check out is the ripple and noise. It has a claimed ripple and noise of 25 millivolts and if we take a look at the output here um, we can see it's around 13 to 15 millivolts uh, peak to peak noise and there's a little bit of ripple there but um, it's, it's not bad. It certainly um, seems to meet its spec and yep that's fairly typical of a switch mode of this design and this price range. Now one of the most important criteria in a lab bench supply is that it doesn't overshoot at um, when you switch the load on. So let's try that here. I've set up the oscilloscope to trigger, the output's off and I'll switch it on, shift output on and bingo we've captured something and there is some overshoot on here, um, not too much. It seems to have uh, clamped it fairly well but there seems to be a bit of a uh, a little bit of a ramp up there which is nothing too much to worry about and then you can see it kicking in and regulating just nicely so I've certainly seen a hell of a lot worse than that so that's pretty good now there's another handy feature of this unit in that you can actually set up the uh, a maximum output voltage so if you take your jog shuttle here, you can actually adjust the voltage, of course. There's the minimum, 1 volt. You can actually adjust it, and it will cap at, in this case, I'm still turning that, and it caps at 3 volts, which is what has been set as the maximum output amplitude. That's really handy to avoid uh, frying any circuitry. There is another really neat feature of this supply, in that you can actually um, set up to 9 uh, output voltage and current presets. So I've actually programmed some in here, so if we go recall number one, it actually uh, goes down to one volt, which I've pre-programmed, and 0.1 amps output. And if I go recall two, enter, it actually recalls what I've previously programmed, two volts and 0.2 amps, and so on. 
um, that's a really handy feature. Now on the back here it's actually got um, RS-232 and RS-485 inputs which is um, really handy for PC control. I've actually used this uh, one for actually quite some time, um, actually more than a year now, so I'm, I'm fairly familiar with it. But um, uh, there, there are still modes that I haven't, haven't really figured out and that I don't remember. Uh, so it's operation is really non-intuitive. Um, that's, that's probably the major gripe I have about this unit is that you really, for all but the basic operations, you've really got to read the manual. And even for the basic stuff, um, you know, things like um, it can get into really weird modes that you have no idea about. And, you know, somebody's been playing with this on the bench and uh, you don't have the manual handy and they've set some weird, you know, uh, current limit threshold you don't like, changing it is, uh, is, can really be quite a chore to figure out. It's just too complicated. I don't like the user interface. It sucks. Okay, so I've said the user interface sucks. What would I do different if I was designing a supply like this? Well, well for starters, the, well, the jog shuttle's really nice. I would keep that. But uh, I would have separate buttons uh, for voltage and current. Separate buttons that light up. You don't have to do this press shift all the time. You have to press shift for everything on this thing. It's crazy. There should be dedicated uh, output on off button, dedicated voltage and current button that uh, lights up so you know exactly what you're setting. You don't have to decode this small fiddly display here. Um, well the settings on the side are quite small and and uh, they're just really hard to interpret at, you know, just at a glance. The other major disadvantage of this supply is that you really need more than one. It's only a it's only a single output supply. Um, it'd be much handier if it had a dual tracking, if it was a dual output and had dual tracking option. Um, that'd make it really much better than what it currently is. Now there are different models uh, available with different output voltage and current ranges. Um, so this is the uh, 40 volt 5 amp model. There's a 0 to 20 volt unit and like a 0 to 60 volt or something like that. So there are different models available. I haven't actually tried out the uh, PC uh, functions of this, but it does look quite comprehensive. It's got data logging capability and, and all sorts of things. You can step things and it's got 99 different programs or something you can program into it. So if you're after a PC controlled thing, I mean, it's, I'm sure it's fairly good in that respect. Um, but as a general use lab supply, um, it's, it's just not that easy to use. So I can't really recommend it as your basic everyday unit, unless you get really intimately familiar with it. So the verdict on the BK Precision 1697 lab power supply, I, I give it a tentative thumbs up because it's uh, quite good value for money, considering that it's PC controlled and, and it really does have a lot of functionality and it meets its performance specs. But the user interface, quite frankly, it sucks and it gets a thumbs down. I hate the user interface, it's awful. Um, but if you can live with that and you want, you know, a good value for money uh, PC controlled programmable bench supply, you could do a lot worse than this.